you guys, you're here with the Craig, and today I will be showing you how to do 3D motion tracking in Adobe After Effects CX, CS6. Uh, this will not work in CS5.5. It doesn't involve Buju or Cinema 4D, um, either of these programs. It's just all in Adobe After Effects, so it's a perfect flawless 3D tracking. Um, there'll be no twitching or like glitching kind of thing. It'll just be a straight, smooth uh, track. So it's, we're going to be tracking this clip here. As you can see, it's just in a little cinematic on dome from Modern Warfare 3, and it goes through. And yeah, so what we're going to do is we're just going to open up After Effects, and we're just going to drag that right in there. Perfect. Okay, so now that it's there, yeah, you just get base. And the other thing with this is I'm like I'm by no means like pro with After Effects by any means. Like I'm, I'm very kind of I know what I I need I know the I know what I need to know I guess so. This is this is something a lot pretty much anyone can do. So we're gonna go right into effect, down on perspective, and 3D tracker. And then this is gonna happen. Analyzing in background, you're just gonna kinda have to wait this out. Um, it generally doesn't take too too long. So but what it's gonna do is you just gotta wait, sit and let it go. And um, it's basically building track points, all anything that is basically trackable, anything that will stick with the motion of the camera as it goes and you're just going to track your text to those points so this actually is taking a little longer than I expected so we're just going to pause here and I'll come right back alright awesome so as you can see it has finally built all the little tracking points that we need and if I go through here you'll notice all of those little uh, I don't know what you call them, we'll call them markers, all the little markers sit on the exact same spot they don't move one single bit and that's exactly what we need so with that now that that is all tracked and set to go. The thing you need to do now is as you move your mouse over you will notice that it creates a little target. Wherever, However the target is in its uh, 3D plane, if it indents at all, that's how your text is going to sit. So as you can see it's on the side here. That would have your text kind of going like it wouldn't have your text going across like this, it would have your text going inwards like so pretty much in a z-axis it would have an indent. If you want your text just to be flat horizontal on your screen and track with it you need to find a flat spot. So I think that right there will be perfect so we're just going to click right there and as you can see it highlights and it's selected you're going to go down create text and camera alright so now what you're going to do and the big thing that I had an issue with is I've been, oh great pinwheel of death that's exactly what I need right now perfect okay so going down and when you click on your text whenever it decides that it wants to listen to me yeah okay perfect so now that you're, uh, you have your little, you have your text selected, you are gonna go and you can move it out here, and as you'll see, it follows with the track. It's a little hard with the pixely because it has the buffer, obviously, but you can definitely see how it tracks with the uh, thing, and it does an automatic scaling, which is something that the 2D motion tracking in After Effects did not do. Um, scaling is like for size; it did not automatically adjust the size to get closer and closer. It just kind of kept it the same size. And uh, yeah, you can see it goes right in and through the. If you kept going, like see it all over cinematic, you go right through the text. So that's perfect. Now, as you can tell, this is definitely not 3D. At the very least, here you go. You just learned how to 2D motion track. So we're just going to put our text right there. And then from there, what I noticed when I clicked this, it said Classic 3D. When you have Classic 3D, you will have the options that I'm going to show you to make it 3D. So you're going to go down. And you're going to hit Ray Trace. Mine's already. It should save after the first time you do it. But after that, it should be good. So I want to make sure you're uh, as if you if it's going really laggy, the uh, more you move this up, the uh, less quality it is. So one is the highest quality. We're gonna put this at oh, five right now, just to kind of speed up everything. So that that's just for when you're doing whenever you're ready to render it, put it down to one. Perfect. So I should be good. Make sure your uh, things on 1280 by 720 or 1980 by uh, 1080 if you're doing. Sorry, if you're doing. 1080p, you're going to want to set to 30 frames per second. I don't know what is going on here. Alright, if my fan kicks in, I'm on a Mac. For any of you that know, Mac have a god awful uh, fan that goes, so just try to ignore that, please. And, uh, anyways, you're going to hit OK. So, there you go, you got this. Now, oh, we're actually going to change this, so just select your uh, text tool right up here. There it goes. And that's your loading bar. If uh, it's kind of like going really slow, just kind of wait for that. If that's there, it is processing. If that goes away, then it should be good to go. So now I've selected the text tool. It's just going to take a second because 
for whatever reason, it's going to go perfect. Okay. So now we are just going to highlight that there. I'm, I'm going to type in a craic. Craic doesn't mean anything, by the way. I'll leave it this load. As you can see, it's loading right here. We're actually going to put this down into like third for now. It still says text, but don't worry. There we are. So if your text is too big, you can go right over here and you just drag this. Oops. Click and drag. Someone's calling the phone. Not right now. Alright, perfect. So we're just going to drag that down a bit. And a Craig. Perfect. Look at that. So I'm going to go back into full mode now because now we're going to be making it 3D. So, as it's buffering, here we go. Perfect. We're just going to wait for that. And. Awesome, that'll do whatever. Okay, so now click on your text layer here. You're going to have a little drop down menu. Right here, you have your geometry options. Now, um, you can mess around with this a lot. That's uh, what I do. We're going to put this on an angle so we can kind of see the bevel. So we're going to go up there just so we can see what the bevel does. And um, we're going to go down to bevel. As you can see, you have your bevel, bevel depth, your whole bevel depth, and then extrusion depth. We are going to go right to the bevel type. And we're going to go to concave. That's just what I personally use. Um, you're going to set your uh, extrusion depth to 5. And I just totally realize you're probably going to have a total gay text when you go in. Just uh, you select your text tool, highlight it, and change it to whatever text you want. I'm using VBAS. Uh, you can download it at defont.com. If uh, you're looking for it, it's a nice text, great for 3D tracking. Pretty overused text now, but uh, it's beyond the point. So whenever this finishes loading, you should be able to see. There we go. And when you are doing the settings for all this, you're going to want to make sure you are in full, uh, not quarter or third. Um, I know this waiting is a pain in the ass, but uh, it definitely it can really change. As you can see, you cannot see anything right here. That is perfect. So we're going to leave our bevel depth to 2. We're changing our extrusion depth to 5. From there, as you, it will be like this no matter what for you. You can change the color. Uh, that won't change anything, but we're just going to keep it white for now. I can make it red, but we're just going to go to white. You're going to go down to effect. Oh, sorry. Layer. New. And you're going to go to light. You're going to start with a parallel light right here. Intensity 50. Sure, sure, sure. That's fine. You're going to want a white light. And it will create... It's going to take a bit to load this. So here, we're going to skip this load. I'm just going to pause this. So here we are. We're back here. And as you can see, I have my nice uh, 3D text here. Um, it's actually the wrong... Yeah, that is. Oops. We're just going to highlight that. I'm going to put that down to convex. But uh, that's what concave will look like if you're wondering about experimenting. So here, I'll uh, pause this buffering. There we are. So now we have our convex bevel on it. Uh, with that, uh, you'll notice it's gray. It's, it's kind of a crappy gray. Uh, I, I personally am not a big fan of it. So we're going to go back down to layer. Um, and if the, you find the text is really bubbly, you can change that just by uh, highlighting it, bring down the bevel depth, which we're going to do just by bringing it to 1. I'm going to pause this once again. Well, that's a lot better right there. Um, uh, if you could, you could leave it like that, but what we're just going to do is we're going to create more lights. So we're going to layer new light, just like what happened before. Instead of parallel, we're going to put on a spotlight now. Uh, I personally don't change anything. You can mess around with that as much as you want, but for the uh, purpose of this video, Obviously, I'm just going to kind of show you how to do it, and you can mess around with settings after. So we're going to hit OK. As it buffers, I will pause and return. There we are. It's already looking a lot better right now. Uh, I'm just going to put one more light on this just to see what we can do. And we're just going to put down ambient, and we're going to turn that intensity way down because the ambient light can really, it'll pretty much just make the text all white. And that's all I really want right now uh, for the purpose of this. So hit OK. As you can see, it's buffering, and I will once again return. Cool, so there it is. You have your 3D text, and it is motion track. Um, other than that, there isn't really anything else. Um, the only other thing I can imagine is if there's an issue with uh, these appearing, you'll have your track points showing, which you do not want, because if, your render, if you have your render track points uh, out, they will appear, so you want to make sure that box mm -hmm. is unchecked on the MP4 um, file, but... Uh, when that file when that file is there, so gotta wait, 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 re wait for that to load. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please take the time just to like and subscribe. I won't clog up your news feed, but uh, on your YouTube channel. So, you know, every little bit of support uh, helps right now. I'm just, I made this tutorial as I didn't really see any others out there. This was, I've seen some 3D text tutorial and I've seen some like 3D motion tracking, but putting them together was the first thing I've seen. So, if you guys like this, please leave a comment down in the description. Let me know what you thought. So. Yeah, anyways, just uh, just wait, the only other thing, render this out. If you don't know how to render, um, simply, simply YouTube that. You're just going to hit Composition, Add to Render Queue, and then you're just going to set your settings and hit Render. Other than that, guys, uh, if you have any questions, please PM me. I will answer them as quick as I can. So, yep, peace out.